from the Shreveport Municipal Auditorium, Bellator Fighting Championships on MTV2, along with Everlast Greatness is Within, now presents the second lightweight tournament quarterfinal round match scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And now fighting out of the red corner at 5'11", weighing in at 155 and one half pounds. His undefeated professional record stands at 10 and 0 from Missoula, Montana, introducing Lloyd Cupcake Winner. And across the cage is adversary fighting out of the blue corner at five foot ten, weighing in at 155 and one quarter pounds. As a professional, he brings ten victories and three defeats from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Introducing Kerry Veneer. And the third man inside the cage, Gary Copeland. Go back. Lightweight tournament quarterfinal number two. Michael red, red, Chandler red, already through to red, the blue. semifinals. The winner of this bout joins in the bell in round number one. Lloyd Woodard in the white trunks with the black trim. Kerry Veneer in the white trunks. Gary Copeland is the referee. Our Bellator clock is presented by PSP. Step your game up. PSP now just 129. All the fights in Bellator on a 10-9 system. Winner gets 10, loser gets nine or less. For criteria, effective striking, effective grappling, control of the combat area, the Bellator cage in this case, and also aggressive defense. Almost a fireman's carry there from Veneer. Veneer was a junior college wrestling All-American at Ridgewater College in Minnesota, but he's really been working on his striking. You see when you're Veneer changing it up, high crotch, going for the fireman carry, a lot of different takedowns, but Woodard showing good balance here, staying on his feet. Woodard was a high school wrestler in both Alaska and Montana also became a semi-pro boxer at the age of 16. $150 to win, $50 to lose in Montana bars. Too young, his mom had to sign the permission slip. They said he had about 30 fights. Just walk in, make some money, walk out. That makes you tough. Good kick to the body by Lloyd Woodard. Like Straight Vineer, left hand. Veneer light on his feet. Best punch against the southpaw, the straight right hand. Best punch of a southpaw, that's straight left. This Wednesday at midnight, it's the 2011 MTVU Woody Awards, live on MTV, MTV2, and MTVU. Scheduled performers include the great Dave Grohl and the Foo Fighters. Oh, great Huge takedown. Huge takedown by Kerry Veneer. Woodard showing good mobility on the ground here, works his way back to his feet. Now, one thing that's important to keep in mind here, Sean, all these takedowns burn a lot of energy. You don't get it, or you do get it, and the guy pops right back up again. That costs a lot of gas. Underhook held with the right arm by Lloyd Woodard. Veneer turtling down. Woodard, you can see, almost assessing his options. And Veneer back to his feet. Me too. You hear, Greg Jackson, you hear Greg Jackson saying, you're winning the fight, keep it going. That's a chopping kick by Woodard. Best kick against the southpaw is that rear tie kick against the front leg. Straight right hand by Lloyd Woodard. Oh, that hurt him, it looked like. Shot from Veneer, another effective sprawl by Woodard. I saw Kerry Veneer wince with that right hand. Might have scraped his eyes, can't really see. Veneer told us in our fighter meeting, Jimmy, that he wanted to set the pace for the entire fight. Woodard right now doing a pretty good job of setting this pace. Knee from Lloyd Woodard, another knee. Well, who knows what those takedowns took out of Kerry Veneer. Now, this is where Woodard thought he was more effective. In the fighter interviews, he says, I have a great clinch, I have a great short game. Woodard telling us, I want to be a brawler in close, and I want to be a boxer away. Nice straight left by Kerry Veneer. Knee to the stomach by Woodard, and another. Another knee. They're definitely getting off with his knees right now in round number one. That knee just missed the forehead of Veneer. And no elbows in the tournament fights until the finals. So that in close game is going to be a lot of knees, a lot of short punches. Effective kick there by Veneer. Well, when you have opposite stances, orthodox versus southpaw, that lead leg is very vulnerable to the power kick. Another double leg shot from Veneer, another big wide sprawl from Woodard. And back to his feet is Lloyd Woodard. Veneer now going for the single leg, still can't get it. You know, Woodard really impressing me with his balance so far. It seems like Kerry Veneer is getting good penetration on that step. 
trying to cut the angle, but Woodard doing a good job of staying on his feet. And to the final minute of what thus far has been a very entertaining round number one, our second lightweight tournament quarterfinal, Lloyd Woodard versus Kerry Veneer. Now, one thing Kerry Veneer is doing, this has been a very, very close round, but he seems to be the one pushing the pace a little bit more. You see here Woodard with his back up against the fence. That's an important criteria in the judging. Aggressiveness, ability to control the cage. Referee Gary Copeland telling both fighters to work from this position. A bit of a stalemate. Well, they've been busy thus far. It's been a fairly action-packed round number one. No shame in taking a break every now and then. Another knee by Veneer. And also, right back by Woodard. If you're Kerry Veneer, you want to lean on him, put a lot of weight on him, draw some of that energy off. We'll see if that pays off in the later rounds. We are headed to round two. There's that straight right hand by Woodard right down the pipe. Bang. And you see Veneer wincing there. It's right between the eyes. Might have upset his vision a little bit, but he looked fine after that. But nice right handed. We might see that a lot against the southpaw. Round number two, lightweight tournament quarterfinal number two. Lloyd Woodard is in the white trunks with the black trim. Kerry Veneer is in the white trunks. Three judges scoring cage side for the state of Louisiana. And Jimmy, as always, you have the unofficial scorecard. Very close first round, but I gave it 10-9 to Kerry Veneer. I thought he was a little more aggressive. I think that tipped the round in his favor. Oh, good shot by Woodard! A beautiful short left hand by Woodard, and Veneer now trying to hold on. Woodard looking to finish. Veneer trying to come out the back door. You see it here, burying his head, trying to come out. He does not want to get grounded, pounded while he's in trouble. Woodard went for the Kimura. A big knee, and Veneer is down again, and here shot from Lloyd Woodard. And there's the stoppage. TKO win for Lloyd Woodard in round number two. Big upset. He said he could pull it off, and he did. Great job by Lloyd Woodard. Man. Jimmy, it started with a very short left hand, and it was finished with a big knee. Uh, that's a lot of intensity. I like the way he finished. He never let Veneer off the hook. They're tending to Veneer right now in the cage. Looks like he might have an injury. But man, great finishing job by Lloyd Woodard. How that look good? Lloyd Woodard called this by far the biggest fight of his career, and he was very impressive made the most out of it. Let's see if we can see there. It looks like a, a short left hand. Let's see if that's what it was. See him here standing up. Bang! Short left hook right on the jaw. Carey never really given a chance to recover. Bang! Clipped him right on the chin. Tried to recover, but Lloyd Woodard did not give him any space. Stayed on him. Went for the Kimura. Ends up spinning him around. And when he tried to get up, looks like another knee. Carey Veneer cannot intelligently defend himself. That's a good stoppage. <laughs> Woodard has to be pumped. A very impressive win for Lloyd Woodard. Second round TKO. When we return, Jimmy Smith will speak to the victor. Lloyd Woodard is through to the semifinals.